hello guys today we will look into animated container if you ever wonder or if you are thinking how to animate a container and you don't want to write a huge logic for animation and you don't want to use animated controller or builder and the, oh, the whole hazard it, ha hazard it requires for the animation you can use animated container animated container is exactly same as the normal container except it has two or three more properties for example it has a duration duration in the duration you can specify how long your animation should took place now we want the animation to be only two seconds so we have specified the second the other parameter is the on end the on end is a function that is called every time the animation is complete animation is completed and all the properties that you can see for example the duration height width color pairing child these are same as the normal container again one new property it has is the curve curve specify how what kind of what is what will be the animation for example it will start slow and end fast or it will fade in between and then or it will bounce the bounce out bounce in elastic in elastic in uh, out linear so these are the whole bunch of properties that are inbuilt provided by the flutter for us to use you can try out and see which works which works best for your project okay now let's see a couple of examples to really understand how the animation container works okay in this example we have small box and when we click on this box as you can see the height and width are changed and now the box looks bigger so how does it work like how does the animation container works so the way animation container works is by changing the properties for uh, in in a, in a better language whenever any property that animation can animated container has is changed the flutter will trigger the animation for example here we have changed the height from 125 to 75 and simultaneously we have also changed the width from 185 to 75 so whenever any of the properties that animated container has is changed the flutter will trigger the animation now one thing to note is we are changing the values in the set state function the set state function is used is, is, is only available in stateful widgets so you need to use stateful widget for animated container as you can see whenever we are clicking on the container we are changing the flag and whenever the, the value of height width flag is changed whenever it is true we want the height to be 125 and whenever it is false we want it to be 75 likewise same for the width we can change it anytime we want as you can see if i click again it, it's, it's 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 changed because earlier it was 185 and now it is 75 this is the function that is changing the flag set state height width flag we are changing and since we are changing the flutter is creating a new uh, it's rendering the new container and it is and it is animating that container now let's look at the second example the second example is uh, whenever we click on this button uh, container you can see that it has changed now in this scenario in this on, on in this container we have changed the border radius and the width we have specified that if the container or if the border radius is true we want to have a border radius of 190 otherwise set it to zero uh, we are also changing the width that is 250 and the 150 if the border radius is true we want to have 250 uh, width or otherwise 150 we can change it anyway you can also we can also change the type of animation for example ease in curve and ease out curve so you can see 
that both the animations are different when it is uh, when we close this when the closing animation is a little faster than the opening animation you can see it we can change it any way we want we just have to change the values in a set state and provide those values to the animated container animated container will itself take the take the charge or handle the logic for animation now let's look at the third so now see that there is one there is something different here both of the above animations were static that is we have to click on it to be continue they were not continuous uh, this one is continuous and it, it's it's infinite the logic that we have done here is on the on end function we are again changing the state of the container so whenever a new state is given to a container it starts the animation so when we click on the container we pass the new values when the animation is completed we again pass the new values so it's a kind of an infinite loop we are also changing the color when the heartbeat flag is true we want to have amber color otherwise use amber accent and we are also changing the height and width simultaneously I think you understand what I'm trying to say is that in animated container you just have to provide the new values for to start the animation and you have all the control that you have on a normal control on the normal container plus on the animated container we get to specify the duration and the curve which will help us in the animation it's very easy the animated container is like the easiest uh, widget for the animation it's very easy to implement now let's look at the third and the la fourth and the last uh, example let's see what happens okay see this one is a little bit uh, different than the above so we are here we are also transforming the wi uh, widget so the widget has a transform property now we can transform the widget any way we want here we are translating the widget you have to provide matrix 4 so we are whenever the translate flag is flag is on we are translating the widget by 150 pixels or to the right and whenever the flag is false we want the widget to have to come on its normal uh, origin uh, origin position that is zero we are also changing the color and the shape as we are changing the flag so if the flag is true we want to have a circle and when it is false we want to have a rectangle then same goes for the color if you have any doubt regarding how to use animated container just write down in the comment section and I will try to answer you as good as possible and, uh, and also this code is available on the github so you can fork it and or you can download it clone it and you can use it and play around or whatever you want to do and learn and thank you and if you like this video just don't forget to uh, like or subscribe it means a lot to me uh, thank you and have a nice day guys. Bye.